Hey, get it guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I do a heap of 1UZ wiring and conversions, and 1UZ related work. So if you're doing that sort of stuff, try subscribing to my channel, and there's lots of information that I'm sharing with everyone around the world. Right now, I've just set up Old Yeller on a uh, 1UZ Sora loom. I've done another video with diagnosis, but in this video, I'm gonna start unplugging stuff and see if it keeps starting and keeps running. And we'll show you how little you need to make these engines run. So I've just done another video on this particular engine. I have the fuel pump, two wires connected there, yes, nothing else. This loom is unmodified. I haven't chopped it, haven't cut it. There are two wires connected. I give it start power and it runs, okay? If you want to see everything part of that there is another video on it but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unplug some stuff right airflow meter let's unplug it Beauty. does it still go power fuel pump Still starts. EFI temp sensor. Don't need that. Power. We need power. Oh, it's struggling. Oh man. My my battery's flat. It won't start without enough battery. I have been running that battery on another engine that had the alternator working. Let's get some battery voltage and we'll try again. That connected, no airflow meter, no EFI temp sensor. Here we go, here we go, come on, 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 come on. Oh, it's, it's almost. We'll just give it some start enhancement and I think it's going to go. Oh, it's going to stop. Almost. So it doesn't start well without an EFI temp sensor. Back in you go. Oh, on a note, change those when you're doing your engine prep. Saves you lots of heartache. Okay. We'll just check it goes again. Fuel pump's going. Vroom, 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 vroom. Here we go. So the reason it doesn't run very nicely with the, without the EFI temp sensor is the temp sensor gives it the amount of temp. That, because the temp sensor tells the ECU where the temp's at. And when it's unplugged, generally they default to, I don't know where it is, I'll just make up a number, which is about 80 degrees. It's not 80 degrees here, so not enough cold start fuel. Not enough to run. But I think if I give it some engine start, it, it might just run. I've hooked up my little farm vehicle, which is sounding like a tractor. And uh, there is a video coming very soon of a 1UZ in a tractor. But that's not today. Let's plug some stuff back on this engine. Just leave the EFI temp sensor off and fire some engine start in and see if it goes. <coughs> Doo -doo -doo. Are we good? Hey. 
Now the reason it's going two things. I don't have the breather to the throttle body and there's the idle speed control. Don't need that. Okay. Temp sensor. Undone. Enhancement. You really don't need a whole lot of stuff on these engines to make them run. Here we go. Okay, let's pop that back in. Oh, I only had one cam sensor plugged in. Oh, watch this for interesting. I'm going to do a separate video on the cam sensors, so look out for that. Did I plug that back in? Yes. Did I plug that back in? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It'll, oh, I didn't plug this back in. Getting excited. Right. Okay, it needs one of the igniters to run. Right, we'll plug them back in. We kind of knew that. I've still got both cam sensors disconnected. It will not start. Also, the battery's getting down. We've got some jump power. It's sounding like a tractor. We don't care about that. No grunt. We'll give it one cam sensor. meter fell off there you go we were running on two cylinders I'm positive I, I unplugged the next one that it wouldn't go two cylinders it was still running no option sensors one of the cam sensors and I had these two cylinders going which were only coming off one of the igniters anyway. And it still ran. Sorry, old girl. It's okay, old yeller. I'll put you back together soon. One day you'll go in a car. What we haven't done is actually run it without the airflow meter. Airflow meter off. Who needs an airflow meter? And we'll unplug it. No airflow meter, and it's unplugged. Will it still start? I 
just keep unplugging stuff and it keeps running. You know what we haven't done? We haven't unplugged the coil. Even though it wasn't technically working because one igniter was disconnected. I can do that too if you want. Let's do it. Right, um, we go. Oh, that's right. Got to plug it in again. It won't work without those two power wires. Don't need any other wires, that's, they're extra. No airflow meter. One coil, no TPS, no EFI temp sensor, no cam sensors, one igniter and two injectors and a crankshaft sensor. That definitely won't go if I unplug that one. You're an amazing motor. This is one cam sensor, no injectors on the other side, one coil. Oh, we'll give it an EFI temp sensor. Well, let's see if it actually starts. Come on, mate. Almost. Yeah, you can go, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, you can do it. Actually only got three injectors on it. We'll give it a fourth one. We have four injectors. I just keep unplugging stuff and it keeps running and even with stuff unplugged it keeps starting poor old yellow takes a hiding but i'll give it some love one day what other combination can i unplug to see if it still runs now on this ecu i have actually only got two two wires connected power it two wires this particular wire here Goes to the ECU. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, this wire here goes to the ECU and a few other things around the engine as far as like the idle speed control, which isn't plugged in. And that one does the coils and injectors. So all that is powered up on this is the two plus B terminals of that ECU. Coils and injectors, that's it. Nothing else extra. All this is not connected. That one, that's just spare. This is not how you wire the uh, engine to go into a car. 
but it's perfectly acceptable to run it up on the, on the engine stand to check it goes. Minimal wires, minimal amount of effort. Now I've watched a few videos on YouTube of guys wiring up an engine on the stand for a conversion, and they're wrong. They're wired wrong, okay? They are not wired correctly to go into a vehicle. This one, it runs, but it is not how you wire it to go into a vehicle. There's a lot more time, a lot more effort to get that loom ready, but this is a perfect way to fire it up on the stand. And if you're diagnosing a car, you can unplug the car, power up the loom, especially in the SC400s, that's all you need, make it run, then you can tell whether it's a car fault or an engine fault. I think we've just abused Old Yellow enough for the night. Hope that was helpful. Hope you learned lots. We'll catch you later.